Terp Talk is brought to you by Viner Four Gates Consulting. Call Viner Four Gates for all of your IT needs. In the DC Baltimore area, you could reach us at 301 251 2900 or on the web at www.vinerforgates.com. <laughs> positive for us. It was very encouraging to you know, uh, be able to bounce back from the two losses that we had and just move on from those games and you know try to create another winning streak from now on and just try to play our best basketball. Uh, with Anthony out, the, ball, the offense really is through you in that second half. How did it feel really for your statement? Uh, it feels good, you know, to know that the coaching staff trusts me so much, you know, to get the ball all the time and try to, you know, either get a bucket or get my teammates in goal. And, uh, you know, like, my teammates trust me a lot and they know what, they, what they're supposed to do whenever I get the ball. So we just play out of it and try to make plays and get points out of it. Nick, you made a little bit of a run in the first half, but then you got it back to, like, 11. And how important is that to finish the half the way you did and as well as, the, you know, start the second half? Uh, it's extremely important, you know. We we we've seen a lot of games where we had like a really good first half, and then we come out in the second half and don't we don't start, we don't start the game the way we're supposed to. So to do that, you know, it's like encouraging for us and our team. You know, it means that we're doing a lot of things right. So we just got to keep it that way. But in the middle of the second half, you had a look like an open three, and you fired the ball down to Sticks, and he dunked it. How? Was that eye contact that you had with him? Yeah, I was just running down the court. I was trailing. I got the ball, and I was I was going to shoot the ball, but then I saw one man was right open, so I just passed to him for easy two points. Coach mentioned how Jalen has had some extra weight room sessions in kind of physical practice. Mm -hmm. How has that maybe helped him tonight? Uh, it's been, it's, it helped him a lot, you know. I think he's growing as a player. Uh, he's understanding a lot more what the Big Ten is really about, uh, the physicality, and you know, just staying strong with the ball. And I, and I try to talk to him as much as I can, just help him, you know, staying positive and mentally. And uh, you know, it's good for him that he's doing that, get, getting a lot of you know extra uh, workouts in, and 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 I practice. People just beat up on him all the time, so he's helping him a lot. It's good to see him growing like that. Mark said that, that the, uh, when you guys got to practice, uh, I guess it was yesterday, um, it, it, the, the, the older guys worked the hardest, the, the key guys worked the hardest, and that sort of set the tone. Did, it, was that in your mind, or was that normally just the way you practice all the time? Uh, I think I practice. <laughs> I try to practice hard all the time, and uh, I think that was just, you know, it was, you know, it was, Two losses in a row that we had. We had to make sure, as an older guy, we got to come in and set the tone for the younger guys and just follow up with. And I think me and Ant and Daryl, you know, being all the guys, we did, we did a great job on that. And everybody just follow up with it. I'm um, bringing the energy and just getting back to who we are, like I said before, just playing Maryland basketball, or practice and, and, and approach practice like a game. How much do you relish playing um, you know, against a player like Derek Harden? You know, he's you know, one better three men in the conference. He's a great player. Uh, he's a great player. You know, I did a, we did a lot of scouting on him, and uh, you know, I watch extra film by myself, and just to make sure I see like what the moves he likes to do. Obviously, he's left-handed. If I try to take the left hand, he wouldn't have much. Uh, but he's a great player. I think I did a phenomenal job on him tonight, and he helped us get a win. After the game, when you walked out, you had about 25 or 30 people cheering for you. You have some special people here tonight? Yeah, it's people from Angola. It's people from Angola, so it means a lot for me to be able to play in front of them. Um, it's an honor for me. And, and uh, yeah, man, we just try to play basketball and put on a show for them tonight. And uh, I think we, we bounced back the way we did, and, and we got to be proud of that. A couple more. Uh, you guys played most of the second half with that, Anthony. Uh, in terms of being on the floor with that, guy like that. Is that good for this young team? It is. Uh, I think it's a positive. Uh, I think it shows really how much we're growing as a team and uh, like how deep we are and knowing that, you know, we didn't have him. He was in foul trouble. We still able to, you know, stay in the game and running our offense and uh, just keep doing the things we do. And, uh, you know, for him to keep his head in the game as well and, and seeing the younger guys doing so, such a good, such a good job with him off the court, you know, means a lot to the coaching staff and I. Uh, this is Mason Viner. Listen to the Young Terps podcast on CapitalSportsBlog.com and TerpTalk.com.
the number one rated Maryland sports podcast.